Hi there folks, well, welcome back to my channel and for this video I'm still on the Scottish borders I've actually stopped off at Abbotsford House uh, which is uh, the house where Sir Walter Scott, the romantic 19th century Scottish writer spent the last few years, years of his life he actually, think he, when they bought the house he ended up having to do a lot of work on it and so a lot of what you see in the house now is because of Sir Walter Scott so again, a towering figure in Scottish literature. So if you are into your Scottish literature, definitely somewhere to come visit. Uh, there will be a website, so I will link that into the, the description bar below and the pinned comment. Uh, so I think yeah, there is, you'd have to walk down a wee bit from the car park, but it shouldn't take me too long. And Abbotsford itself is only, I think about two or three miles from Gal Shields. So if you are in the Gallows Hills area, definitely somewhere to come and spend some time. And again, the weather's still glorious. So yeah, so I'll be grab my things in just a moment and heading on down. So if you are enjoying my channel, if you are enjoying my videos, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, the channel's TikTok account, and the PayPal account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I'm going to grab my things and head on out. Yeah, the weather is absolutely glorious today. So I think I made the right choice of coming out and just enjoying as much of the sunshine as I can. And, and this being the first time and the borders, that is a beautiful part of the country. Um, like with the recent Galloway, it's often overlooked as people head north. But it's got so much to offer. I'll give you an idea of the layout. So that's outside the house and a bit of an, an inside as well. So there's definitely pl plenty of places to go and explore. And uh, Melrose is not that far away. Quite famous for the Abbey. And there is Witch's Corner, which is a play area. The adventure play area for kids. And this is the visitor centre, which we go into first. Before you get to the house. And they are dog friendly. Uh, they do have this exhibition in the visitor centre. I'm looking at Walter Scott and his influence. So they do have a lot of history coming on about them. Yeah, so Walter Scott actually acquired some of the carved stonework from Melrose Abbey, which as I say is not really that far away. So the example there, he's uh, went and used it to decorate some of his gardens. A Roman sculpture there as well.
Yeah, these are just stunning gardens. It does help have came on quite a warm sunny day. So if you're a gardener, I you love exploring gardens. Abbotsford is, is definitely somewhere I'd recommend because the gardens themselves are just really calm, peaceful, just lovely little kind of areas just to wander around and enjoy just hearing the birds sing and just enjoy just a lovely setup. So how do we explore the gardens as you, can, as you will have seen from earlier, earlier in the video. So I'm going to Head into the, the house now and have a wee explore there. This is Walter Scott's library. Bit jealous to be honest. Yeah, the room I was in previously was actually just a study. This is the library. So that's a bust of Sir Walter Scott. And some carvings in the ceiling. Yeah, the, some of these bits are dropping down from the ceiling, from what I've been told, are inspired by Osborne Chapel. You've got green men as well up on the ceiling. And I've spotted a face that I recognise. Uh, the one up there, right in the middle of uh, the frame, that uh, is Mary, Queen of Scots. And this is the drawing room. Very impressive chandelier that. And obviously the decoration's been influenced by the China. And as with all Bacousies, Scott has his own armory. Impressive collection of different weaponry, including crossbows. Well, that's me just out of the house, and I've been told that the chapel, which is just up uh, in that direction there, is worth visiting. So I'm gonna. Have a little wander up to the chapel, then I'll probably go for a little wander around some of the woodland. And I was thinking about going to Melrose today, but I've been warned that the Melrose Sevens is on, which is something to do with the rugby. So I've been told that Melrose today is going to be utterly stout and probably a bit of a nightmare to actually park in. So I might have to come back down on an day and visit Melrose then. But then again, that's part of the fun of doing this channel. Always get to, to come back and uh, visit places like this and explore like areas like the borders. So I'm thinking I'm just going to spend my, the rest of the day and out uh, enjoying the rest of this glorious weather. Yeah, so that's uh, probably a better view of the house itself. The 
show you how extensive it actually is. That is the River Tweed, which you do get a really good views of from the house itself. Well, that's the back of the car after visiting Abbotsford House, and the place is absolutely stunning and definitely worth visiting. So, if you are in the the, the Scottish borders, if you are maybe exploring this region of Scotland, definitely get yourself to Abbotsford. And you could probably spend the best part of the day just exploring Abbotsford as well as itself. You see, you explore the house, you explore the grounds spend some time up in the cafe and again you've got the adventure playground for the kids as well so there's there's definitely a, a great place to come and just spend some time and again with this being the first time I've ever been here it's definitely worth me coming down this way just to spend some time here I've definitely enjoyed my visit hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video and you'll find Abbotsford intriguing and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.